Plan Quantum and Phytosanitary Service is one of the regulatory offices under the Ministry of Agriculture. The key mandate of PQPS is to prevent the introduction of plant pests. These are pests that are associated with commodities moving across borders. But apart from just uh, preventing the introduction and spread of this pest, PQPS facilitates trade. And in this case, it issues trade documents that can ensure that whatever is moving across borders is in compliance with the phytosanitary requirements of a trading partner. So how do we do this as PQPS? PQPS, we've got a footprint at uh, HQ here in Chilanga, but also we've got uh, presence of plant health inspectors at the airport, uh, KKI, and uh, we've also positioned uh, various plant health inspectors at various uh, ports of uh, entry or exit, that's the borders. Our role is to formulate um, import conditions and we also work hand in hand with um, the surveillance team to validate um, import requirements by other uh, trading partners. So um, this is a very important uh, section in the team and um, we also respond to um, questions that we are um, uh, addressed to us by our trading partners. As space surveillance, we carry out a monitoring service to see and monitor the pest levels here. Uh, apart from that, we also do detection service where we have to see uh, which pests are present or absent at the production, production site. So that's the information that we use to uh, validate or to um, also give uh, advisory service to the grower. Because uh, where I'm standing here, there is uh, this trap. And this trap is for Spodoptera exigua. And they also have another site where they're trapping uh, uh, Heliothis amigera. Then uh, on the other side, there's also where we found that they are also having a um, trap for Podoptera frugipeda, which is the full annual. So what we do with the scouting team, we come and uh, count the, uh, the, 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 the trapped insect in here. So the higher the number of insects that are trapped here gives us uh, a position to know that uh, uh, during the season, the paste levels are high and that also helps us in um, at early, early warning system because uh, we definitely know that uh, if we're having uh, so many adults at this particular time, meaning in the next four weeks to come, we'll have a lot of uh, uh, larvae that will be um, uh, ravaging our crop. So from there we can give advice that now they can come, uh, come in with their, um, uh, the, 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 the sprays. And those sprays also have to be uh, sprays within the uh, required uh, uh, levels and also accepted by the, by the market. Uh, one of the activities carried out under Fertilizer Certification is field inspection of the crop during active growth. So as I'm standing here at York Farm Kashima, we have just been doing an inspection of the, the piece here marked for export. So what we are doing during uh, inspection of the crop in the field is to check for the pest of phytosanitary importers to our trading partners and also any other strange um, uh, pests we find on the, on, the, on the crop. This is to ensure that um, the, the final produce, which is, a, which is a marked for export, is free of the pest of concern to our trading partners. And also um, we conduct this field inspection to ensure that we identify the pests while they are still in the field and before they cause any adverse effects so that we can also advise the grower on the remedial measures to be, to be taken to ensure that uh, the crop uh, is free of the pest of concern. Um, peas, basically, we've got two varieties of peas that we are that we, uh, planting here. We've got uh, sugar snap and um, munch to. Snow wind for munch to and uh, then uh, cascadia for sugar snap. And uh, basically the crop is um, a winter crop, 
Uh, we, it does very well uh, if you grow it under cool conditions. It doesn't do very well when it's very hot. Um, and then you also uh, have a lot of pest issues when it's uh, warmer. And um, we, we plant this crop uh, after following baby corn. Because uh, previously we were using a lot of poles to try and support the crop because you have to trellis the peas for it to grow uh, very well. So at least we came up with something that is working better for us instead of using poles. Now for pest monitoring, we've actually been working hand in hand with our colleagues. Um, that come here to monitor um, the plant health inspectors. They do come here uh, every two weeks to come and um, check in the fields. They do the scouting. And if they find any issues, any problems, then they will give us an advice on how to go about it and show us the presence of all the, uh, those insects. Uh, the process of receiving peas here at York Farm begins at intake. At intake, uh, what we do when the product comes from the farm, it is uh, weighed through the, 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 the scale, and then from there, random samples are picked by the QCs who bring them to the assessment table. At the assessment table there, the main, uh, ob uh, the main objective of that uh, assessment table is to ensure that the defects that are found in the sugar snap have been assessed. So we assess the sugar snap based on the customer specifications. These customer specifications, they will show the defects that are not supposed to be found in the product that has been received. And these specifications are pasted on the walls just for the QCs to see what they need to look out for in a product. So the next stage after the product has been received at the receiving area, it has to be taken into the raw material code room. And from the raw material code room, it is issued into the lines into the parking hall, like what you saw, and there the process is a sorting of the product. It, is, it has to be sorted according to the customer specifications. And any defects that have been found in the product are supposed to be isolated. Only the best product that complies to the customer specifications is packed. And once that is done, the product is taken into the dispatch code room. And there it is boxed and palletized, ready for dispatch. It is at that point where the PQPS comes in to assess the product. So here what we do uh, when we conduct inspection here at York Farm, this is where the final inspection is done. Apart from the inspections which are done in the field. Um, so what we do here is that uh, we inspect the final produce before it's loaded on the truck uh, for export.